new adventure this evening. I'm here with my buddy Rob, who is very slow getting his boots tied, but he's going to make sure they're tight so he can find some good stuff. Rode over in the Cadillac, which was nice, didn't have to walk. We're at a great big spring, and I think I've made a video or two here in the past, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You can hear the peepers. Listen, spring peeper. The water's down there. We might go down in that area a little bit, but right behind us, uh, supposedly is, well, it looks like it's lane going down there, doesn't it? Is a big, it was a house up in this area somewhere. And I've hunted here, found a few things, had a friend that hunted here. Well, it's actually the guy that owned the, the farm. It's a big farm there, it's now a subdivision. Uh, and he told me he found a lot of colonial era coins there. I don't think I've ever found a coin here. So we're gonna give it a quick shot. Look, poor peepers, chig's too loud. We're gonna give it a quick shot here this evening. Spend an hour or two and see what we can come up with. What do you think, Rob? We're gonna get something good. Something good? Something good. Gold coin? I hope so. <laughs> Coin of some sort. It doesn't that'd be nice to at least get one coin, right? It doesn't have to be gold. Yeah, okay. I mean, that'd be great. Yeah, all right, man. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get to it while well, we can. I'll show you the spring again in, in, a, in a minute here. So, haven't gotten any good signals yet to dig, but there's a dead deer on the hill behind us that is just so rank, almost vomited coming through here. Uh, but I wanted to show you what, what's going on. Uh, there's a neat spring right here, big spring over there. Right there, you can see some water coming out. Now, I know there's a house here somewhere. Um, a lot of iron in here. It looks like they might have had something built there at one time. We'll check that out. It's almost like there's a path through here. Rob's up there on the hill somewhere. Anyway, yeah, big spring, man. It's awesome. Peepers. Over there is where the, the big spring comes out, uh, the bank. We'll look at that in a minute. Look at that. So the water's coming up right in here somewhere. They might have had like a little spring house right in this area as well. Beautiful rocks. Again, you got that limestone. It's kind of that bluish color. I don't see any pottery, but I know there's tons of it in some different areas here. So let's get to detecting. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can find my metal detector. There we are. Get back to that sink. Wow, that stinks. Whoa, right up there in the uh, side behind that uh right up in there is that big deer it's disgusting i well, don't hit the spring and there's more dead deer so somebody dumped him it's not like one just got shot and died over here which is a shame you see there's a bunch of fur there a couple carcasses there at least they don't stink like the other one does isn't that beautiful water look at that springs right up there we're gonna go look at it first and then we'll get to so this is the big spring itself uh, where the water pours out of the hillside, and I'll show that to you. See it coming out of there and all down through here. Um, what we're going to do, we'll look around here a little bit, but you can see it's a lot harder to access this area. So I don't know if there'll be anything here or not. Um, but there probably will be a button or two, maybe, I hope. But it flows out that way and goes away. Oh man, I'd love to have this place, huh? I'm building this property. Could have actually bought it recently because it was up for sale. They wanted a lot for it, but they really lowered the price. And Rob just told me uh, a couple weeks ago, but someone had already put a contract on it. So hard luck there. Lovely spring though. Just one last look at the spring and then, then we'll really get to digging. I'm, not, I'm only hearing lots of iron right now. That is so pretty. I just love this spot. It goes off into the distance. Cold water spring, lots of good history here. They say one of the biggest Indian camps in the area is actually on this hill right here behind us. And one time when the farmer plowed, he only plowed it like once in, uh, in memory. Uh, one of my buddies who likes to look for Indian uh, stuff said that it was just loaded with arrowheads and stuff. This field right behind me, but uh, there'll probably be a house there before it's plowed again. <laughs> because that'd be a good time to look at, I suppose. Pretty. I love it. Well, I got my first non ferrous item directly above this spring, and it is a 22 Magnum cartridge. Hmm, not so good so far. Just a quick side thing. Uh, this is a you can see this area here is dug out a little bit, and it's a big mound of dirt with a fan shape, and that's from an animal that dug it out of here. Probably a groundhog, although there's a huge amount of dirt for a groundhog hole, but 
The reason groundhogs get such a bad name is because of this. This is what they call a blind hole. And they make a hole with no dirt around it so they can escape from predators. Um, they can just like chuck down the hole and they're gone. The predators don't even know the hole is there. Uh, and of course a cow or a horse will break their leg if they step in that. So let's take a quick look down there and make sure there's no caves. I don't see any caves. A lot of times they're straight down. <laughs> Pretty scary, huh? See the spring is down there, and I suspect the house is actually up in here. I've never found a ton of stuff. My buddy said he found a bunch of coins. I have a good signal right here. I thought we'd dig this one together just in case. It's not a coin signal, but you know, 60 something, that could be a button. Find out together. Right about here. I don't think it's too deep. I'm gonna take two. Two pieces, two chunks, maybe three. I don't have to do it again for you. Let me check the hole. Yeah, it's over there in the loose dirt. I don't have to move you. Unfortunately, so we'll have to do this by hand, which is what I normally, I almost never use a pin pointer. Only for you guys. Okay, it's in this one. You ready? Do you see it? That might be it right there. All right, is that it? Okay. <gasps> no. There it is. That is a 222 or a 223 rifle casing. But that was a good sound. That could have easily been a button. I am hopeful we will find some buttons up here. Don't see any pottery or uh, uh, broken glass. I think that's just a rock. All right, I'll wait until I find something good to turn the camera back on. I kind of lied to you a little bit because I turned it back on because I have no idea what this thing is. It's aluminum though, so we know it's not old. But boy, I have no idea. If you do, let me know. Hopeful though, two good targets, two good sounding targets within three feet of each other. And uh, I think the house site is right up the hill. I'm hearing lots of iron, so I'm psyched. This is a cool uh, wedge of some sort, or a tool rather, that's broken off right there. I guess that's what it is. It's not a very sharp edge on it, but it's definitely not like a spike. Man, I think it was deep. Whew. Well, I finally have a button. It's a little tiny one, but it's a button. <laughs> it's a little flatty. Give him a quick rub, make sure there's no, um, nothing written on the front. I'm almost positive they won't be on this kind, though. Yeah, it might be design, actually. But I can't see very well. Can you? <laughs> hmm, not sure about that one. Um, this area right here, I think it's where the house was. So all the iron is, uh, Rob said he's found quite a few buttons buttons right through there, but I just found another one. I hope I'll put that in my bag. What you got? It's a Ooh, it's a copperhead. That's some type of little, uh, could be like a little black racer, I guess. Man, he's uh, skinny, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I mean, long and, uh, long and slender. Lucky devil. It's lucky we're not hawks or owls. Cause we'd be eating them, wouldn't we, Rob? Mm, yeah. Might eat them anyway, huh? I know, right? Hey, check this tree out down here. Look at this thing. Isn't that cool? Oh, <laughs> That's that apple cedar rust. We just had a rain. If we were to come here probably this morning after the rain last night, this would have been all big and gross looking. Now it's just little and gross looking. All right, let's get back to digging. Just to give you a quick idea of the uh, metal and stuff with the iron that we're hearing in here. I'm on four discrimination using the uh, Garrett AT Max today, maximum sensitivity, but I want you just to listen to it. A lot of little nails, if I can see the thing, lots of little nails. Seems to me they were they were more up in this direction, but so some type of cabin or something stood here. We're listening to first squeaks. All I'm gonna do is put the headphones back on because I can concentrate a lot better. Since this has been hit so many times, we really, really need to pay attention. But that's typical of a home site, the amount of iron that we're hearing. A colonial home site. Small signal right here that's very button-like, so we'll dig this together. Somewhere. Right there, just a little bit right there. I'm gonna set you down and we'll dig it together. Right, should be right there, but down about three, three inches or so, maybe four. It's pretty small, so I think it's going to be in that clump right there. <laughs> I could be wrong. Jeez. 
go ahead and move this stuff out of here. That's what you get when you try to hurry. I think it's over in this stuff. Yeah, it's really small though. Yeah, I'm in here. And this one. It's in here. Oh man, it's gonna be tiny. It's a 22 bullet or 22 casing rather. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. But that's the kind of signal we're listening for. That's what these little buttons in here sound like. Pretty much kick this thing off of a rock. Uh, it was just barely under the ground. It's a little piece of a buckle, probably pewter. Could be a shoe buckle or something like that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Although I don't quite understand the things on the outside of it like that. Not quite working that out, but I'm, I'm about 85%. It's a little pewter buckle of some sort. I'm 100% at pewter. So Rob and I are going to move a little bit. There's another location very close to here. We're going to, you say you found a square nail or two. Yeah. So we're going to go over there and try. We're not finding much here. You notice anything weird? Look at the tree behind us. <laughs> Hopefully he's not <laughs> on our neck now. <laughs> Looky. Beauty, isn't he? Come here, buddy. Just hanging out in the tree waiting for something delicious to come along, like a whole bird or a chipmunk. Or Rob. Or a chig. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> a chig. Yeah, pretty. I didn't notice I, him. Yeah, I didn't. I walked right uh, right through here several times. Didn't even notice him before. So I'm looking at the ground, you know me. look in here Rob says there's a awesome home site loaded with relics oh, yeah. you, you think you saw one on a map here yeah. yeah I've never I think I walked across here once when I was a kid but um, I don't think I've ever found anything if we want to give it a look I love those peepers well that's a little bit suspicious over there look at all those daffodils <laughs> Um, we're in the middle of a field here. There's no houses nearby. I mean, there's a newer subdivision up over the hill, but not right there. Go over and take a look at them. It's always a joy to see stuff like this out in the wild. Let's enjoy them for just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look around this area just a little bit more. I'm hearing a little bit of iron, but uh, that's just nice. It made my day right there, it really did. We made it back to the four-wheeler. Uh, did not find anything uh, this evening in this area right here. Rob's still up there somewhere. I see a turtle. Hopefully he's alive, but I'd say he's not. <laughs> oh, poor little dude. I'm not gonna touch him because he could be quite grody. Pokemon stick. What do you say? Looks like he maybe tried to get underground there or something for the winter, but didn't make it. Hey, the carrion beetles are on him. Boy, I tell you, if he died, he must have died just recently. He's not even rotten yet. He dead, buddy? Huh? Yeah, he's dead. Ah, poor little guy. Wonder what happened to him. Spring, a lot of animals die because they've used up all the reserves over the winter and before the greenery really comes on they well, they just give up the ghost and die uh, the starving times I think the pilgrims called it I see Rob coming so we're going to split love the peepers man green peepers hope you enjoyed the hunt I know it was kind of funky and wasn't very rewarding but I'm gonna walk out there with a metal detector just for one minute to find anything really great I'll let you know but otherwise Adios. So Rob and I are driving out of here and um, I noticed the branch up there. Look at that big tree trunk up in the tree and like how the heck did that get up there like that? That's a locust uh, or a, uh, yeah, a locust. And um, boy, isn't that weird? This is a locust here too, but boy, it's just, I don't, I don't know how that could have been like cut down or fall. I guess it was a tree right there probably. <laughs> that weird? Yeah, 
He thinks it's a Sam Squinch. Threw that up there to freak me out, man. And it worked. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy.